Hi, my name is Shelby DeVere. I'm Mary Jo Fernandez. And our topic was if students should go to school all year round or if they should stay at summer breaks. And all year round schools are not longer than traditional schools. They just have their breaks broken up throughout the year instead of having summer um, for three months. And they do that by either having schedules like 45 days having school, 15 days off, or 60 days having school, 20 days off. 80 days having school or 40 days off it varies even though school is all year round like students will still want to prefer to have one longer break than just multiple breaks throughout the whole year year-round schools are meant to be placed so students won't have academic regression and like basically forget everything that they learned over the school over summer and this would also give teachers um, time so they wouldn't have to review with students as, as often and teachers are not gonna wanna teach all year. They have their own lives, they will have their own families, <laughs> and they wanna do things on their own time. They're not gonna wanna work through the summer, and they're gonna have even a more troubled time like having breaks during the year than just having one longer break. I think like multiple breaks could give teachers time away from work, and like for me, I think, it, I think more breaks, less stress, whereas like all year round schools could be also an advantage to overpopulated schools. So like for overpopulated schools, what they could do is that they could take the multiple breaks they have and rotate groups of stu students throughout the break. So at all times, some group of students would have a break, allowing for like a more populated school to be able to teach all their students. Yeah, but because the school will be open all year round, it will need more funding, and that means that the teachers and faculties will have to put in more work and effort for the, for the kids. And additionally, annual school events such as conferences, open houses, and graduation, they would have to be schedule, scheduled in beforehand. With all year round schools and having those multiple breaks, students would be able to practice those kinds of hobbies they have throughout the whole entire year instead of just summer. And families could also plan vacations throughout the whole entire year. But parents will have a harder time to find like supervision for their kids and summer provides them like extra time to find something for their kids to do like either have summer camp find a job or travel and summer also gives like kids that that happiness level like accomplishment of going to another grade and like it gives them something to, to look forward to every year all year round schools are beneficial to keeping students engaged even though parents could have a hard time finding babysitters for breaks students could take on their interests in their lives outside of academics and allow for relaxation in between school years and then um, i think it would overall enhance student achievement and it would be a really big beneficial to overpopulated schools all year round school has a great goal, but however, their schedules are too conflicting for the students, teachers, and parents, and for annual school events. Teachers can't pr pursue a needed education for the summer, and parents are burdened to find supervision for their kids. And, ooh, no. <laughs> okay. um, and student schedules could conflict with their other siblings and how they interact with them. All year schools are more costly and summer breaks are more popular. The traditional school ways has shown that the methods have been working and I'm pretty sure that that's the methods that they're going to continue to work or use. And yeah, I think all year on school should not be a thing. Nobody's going to want to pick it anyway. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs>